to the branch by the ship here in Bersco. A little bit of lock keeping in the sheep. Speeding away there. 400 miles an hour. gates on lock number two down here And this is the dry lock. Dry dock. All right, Jim. All right, Jim. You can see some of the uh, woods and stones the barges used to rest on coming in. They keep saying they're going to restore it or do something with it, but apparently it's meant to leak over there. One of them cottages gets a bit wet. Oh well. Right. Let's go out here. This is like a T-junction, this. One's the leads to Liverpool Canal. And one's there. Uh, goes up to the Ribble. River Ribble, where they cross. There's a sign for some useful information. There it is. Half these barges have got no one in, they've been there for ages. All right, me duck. Hey, we've actually got a boat coming up. Look at the speed it's going. Jesus, that's fast. That's the report, then. And there we are. Buy me cheap.
Here we are. I'm at the Rufford branch locks. Lovely little place. And we just come with this is our hut. And there's two lazy sods in here sitting around drinking tea as usual. No, coffee, get it right. In here, 10 hours. They haven't moved off their arse. That's Jim. That's Graham. That's the handsome, that's me, the handsome one. Yeah, and obviously, I'm me. There we are. Going over the bridge. You'll see the locks in a minute. This is a really nice place in the summer. Well, even right now, it's lovely. There we go, see? More, see the cut out in that house. That's where the horses used to come through, pulling on the ropes. And there we are, the locks. Real nice. And there's our little hut. Dream of a cup of tea, lazy get. Here we are, there's a barge coming up. And they've built an estate right by the canal. Used to be an uh, old army ordnance depot. Here we are, we're gridlocked today. Can't believe. There's two coming through at once. Oh, it's chaos, chaos. And there's the ship in. That's a nice pub. Got me little helper with us today. Let's go, El. Cross the bridge. Good. Open these lock gates. Let the boat through, eh? Oh yeah. Yeah. Right this way. Just to open up that way. Open up the gate. Get some water in. There's not enough water in that yet. Why? In there, oh, more water's got to go in. A couple of swans have come to say hello. Are you coming down, El? No, I'm just... Are you going to live up there? Yeah. Oh, good. Well, I'll come back next week and see you, OK? OK. All right, bye. Look at the swans. You know what? I'm going to see all the boats. This one, you will, yeah. Well, you know what? Right, here we are in the gull. Fuel problem. I think there's a load of crap in the car, but just changed the little fuel filter on it and it was minging. I've actually got it here. Oh, where is it? Look at the state of that. Definitely a fuel problem. Puff. Pour fuel down the uh, carburetor and starts up, but I'm going to have to give it a good clean. Gutted. Uh, oh well, what's the worry, eh? Soon sort it out. Yeah. I'm going to have to put in a new wheel burden on. Oh, I thought it was going to have a thought it was going to have a nice day. Well, there you go. Shit happens. There we are. Got it going again. Just a fuel problem. So I'm going to take the air fuel tank out, clean it out, and reseal everything. And that'll do for now. There we go. 
fuel tanks out, just emptying it into the jerry can. Put a filter on it, try and keep it nice and clean. This is what it looks like side on. And this is where it sits in the Jeep, in the Jeep under the driver's seat. Very health and safety that. Take about five days to clean out the air. Uh, fuel tank and realign it again with this cotton. I'm glad I started this. Big lumps of shape were coming out. Still coming out now. On the left. As you can see. Oh, some shape coming out of there. Should be fixed.